You're watching DCTV. Now here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. It's you, it's me, it's DCTV. It's you, it's me, it's DCTV. Uh huh. Let's start the show. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is you. It is me. It is N R D H to P J M E Y E R S. Jared Myers, <laughs> Dave Canning, Nick Carpenter, Ryan Crossley, Harold the Puppet. We have made it. It is the absolute last stop on the Tom Says Highway to Mania. We have made it, ladies and gentlemen. We have been fighting it out since the Royal Rumble, but the time has finally come to give our predictions to put this beautiful, lovely crown of mine on the line. WrestleMania 38, Saturday and Sunday, live from AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. And for the record, that is in Chicago time. Fun fact about Dallas, Texas. Uh, so, Harold, you're already shaking your head no at me. What's wrong? I only celebrate and acknowledge Miami time. I mean, you and I are on Miami time. Nick's on Miami time, even though he's not in Miami. But Florida is always on Miami time. Ryan is on California time. I think that's what we've designated. What's, what, is, what time is Ryan, Harold? Ryan is on too slow Miami time. <laughs> yeah, I'm in ne negative three Miami time. That's right. negative, negative three, three Miami. Miami time. Uh, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to give you our predictions for WrestleMania 38, both nights one and two, 14 matches on the card, seven on Saturday, seven on Sunday, as of this recording. And it is Tuesday, March 29th at 11, 12 p.m. Miami time when we are recording this. So if they add anything on SmackDown, F you Vince, okay, or if they add anything at Mania, it doesn't count. It's what we have as of press time. 14 matches. We're going to give our predictions. We're all going to give them at the same time. So this way, Nick cannot cheat his way to the crowd like he did at the Survivor Series screw job. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, we're going to say the match. We're going to go a countdown. Everyone will hold up a card with their entry on it. So it is that simple. So we will start night one with the Raw Women's Championship on the line as the champion, Becky Lynch, defends against the challenger, Bianca Belair. Well, everybody's got their card, I would hope. Okay. I, I barely have any ink left in this from all the petition signings. I think I got enough for tonight. We'll see. Oh, the all two that signed? Okay. So everyone ready? We're all ready to hold up. So we'll count it out. Three, two, one. One. Seeing. Oh, okay. Oh. Jared going with Becky. He's the only one. Everybody else going with Bianca. I think it's. I think it's a foregone conclusion. I think Becky's gone through way too much. I think it's time. Or uh, Bianca's gone through way too much. But you know. Uh, Good move by Jared there, because if Becky happens to win, that's the kind of thing that will win. That's, that could a turn crown. it all around. Right Do we have a new king coming in? I think so. Or I just chance need to chug a beer to get my mind right. Crown's a little tight on my head at this point, so we'll we'll have to pry it off. No way, because we I've got Gerald running around the Dave Cave doing some uh doing some dirty work for me as we get this all squared away. So don't you worry there. All right, folks. So next up on Saturday night, uh, number one, we've got Kofi and Xavier of the New Day taking on Sheamus and Ridge Holland with Butch in their corner. What the hell did they do to my boy Pete Dunn? But so on, everyone ready? Not No, no, I said Butch, not Bush. Not the Bushwhackers. So, uh, uh, so yes, are we all ready with our answers for this one? Three, two, one. New day. New day. Oh, and no. Harold. Oh. Harold getting interesting there. Harold. Yes, I think that because Butch is there. They got to make something happen. I I think this was originally supposed to be a three-on-three three match, and I think they give it to the New Day as a make good for Big E breaking his neck. Shout out to Big E. Hope he's feeling better. Uh, I want the New Day to win, but I don't think they're going to. You, you want them to win, but you not don't want them enough to, to pick them. So we'll see what happens there. When listen, you're, uh... listen, listen, David. I'm not picking who I want. I'm picking who I think Big Daddy Vince is going to pick. 
Well, speaking of who Big Daddy Vince is going to pick, next up we have Seth Rollins who will get his WrestleMania match against a hand-chosen opponent by Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So the premise of this is we are going to the, – the point will be decided on whether you choose the mystery opponent or Seth Rollins. We are going to also give a prediction for who the mystery opponent is going to be because we have no idea who it could be. Bay Bay. Uh, but that will not be held against you in any sort of penalty if you guess the wrong mystery opponent. So if you guess the mystery opponent, that's who you're guessing. If you're guessing Seth, that's who you're guessing. So uh, on on the count of three, we're going to go three, two, one. I dropped my card. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Harold going with Cody, not Seth Rollins. Uh, the unknown person, vacant, the mystery opponent, Cody, is who I'm going with as well. So, yes, the mystery of – oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, Joe, he changed his answer. He changed his answer. He's going with Vince McMahon. He thinks it's going to be Vince. He thinks it's going to be Shane McMahon. That's, that's, that's his actual guess. It's got to be Shane McMahon or Nick doesn't get the points. Jared, who do you think it's going to be? I don't know. It's Gerald. It's going to be Gerald. I really hope not. It could be. Just coming down the aisle, just doing the old mustache mountain. I work so much harder than Gerald. So if he's on WrestleMania and I'm not, I am going to be so sad. <laughs> oh, you're going to yeah, be crying. Good ones crying. always get passed over, Harold. Uh, not really. Uh, Harold gets so the Okada entrance where it's just like, <laughs> ting! <laughs> Harold bucks everywhere. Ooh. And then Gerald comes down and gets the street providence. It's raining. It's raining. Uh, Gerald Gold. Ugh. Everybody Damn. will get hurt. It's, it's it will be, but there may be somebody getting hurt in this next match because it will be no, the SmackDown. Wait. What? All right, I didn't get my pick. Who I think it's going to be? Oh, I'm sorry, Ryan. Who do you think all it's right, going to be? All right. Oh, oh. The Hulk oh. Is oh. Man George. That's not it, Space Man George. It's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Space Man George is going off. to Dallas. Dude, George, George. Right George, here George, in the George, Space George, Dome, George. brother. Right here George, at George, Verizon George, Stadium, George, George, brother. George. Home I'm of surprised the that he didn't uh, pick Brett because he's looking pretty good nowadays. Always. Well, he's always looking good. Verizon Field. Home of the Washington Commanders, brother. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys, brother. <laughs> They're all just as bad. Speaking of just as bad, next up, it is the SmackDown tag titles on the line. It's the champions of the bloodline. The Usos defending against Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. Uh, so, yes, we will. We all have our cards ready. We'll show our answers in Wait. three. Oh, wow. No, four. I'm not ready. I uh -oh. totally misunderstood this. Let me write oh, someone down. Ryan is just Ryan's messing everything up. Um, He's too preoccupied with his stinking petition. Wait, it's no, kids Ryan. these days. It's his. It's that negative. Make them like they used to. These senior <laughs> citizens, man, they don't get it. <laughs> Those negative three Miami time guys. Oh, just the worst. Get your AARP card ready, Ryan. <laughs> this match is right, boomer. You by one of the best signs in WrestleMania history I've ever seen is after Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker at Mania 26. Shawn Michaels is like going up the ramp, waving goodbye, and somebody just has a perfect angled sign that says, this match brought to you by AARP. <laughs> Should have flown that guy to Saudi Arabia. All right, Ryan, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, Usos versus Nakamura and Rick Boogs in three, two, one. Oh, Nick being different there. Going with Nakamura and Boogs. Ryan with the Usos. Jared with the Usos. Harold with a mouthful. Us. Usos. Usos. Get me out of this kingdom. Big King, get me wow. out of here. SOS. Wow. SOS. Get me out of here is what we're all going to be saying for this, for this next match. It is going to be Ray and Dominic Mysterio taking on the uh, the A list tag team of the Miz and Logan Paul. Logan Paul, if you want to come on this show, by all means, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, folks. If so, Logan Paul comes on, I am out of here. If Logan Paul comes on here, I will box him. He is not a oh, good person. I know that. So, are we all ready with our answers here, Logan Unfortunately, Paul? Unfortunately, yes. Logan Paul, Miz versus Ray and Dominic Mysterio in three, two, one. 
Oh, me and Harold going for the same one here. Ugh. I have Miz and Logan Paul on that one. It's again not who I want to win, but who I think will win. Nobody uh, wants them to win. <laughs> I, Maurice hey. doesn't even want them to win. Oh, that's bad. I honestly, the reason I wasn't ready for the Usos, I thought the SmackDown titles were the Usos, Nakamura, Boogs, Ray and Dom, and the Miz. I thought Miz and Logan were a tag team also. I thought it was a four-way dance. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't put no bullet points in there. Uh, but oh, so yeah, our- you set me up. Yeah. We need a better king. Come on, Nick. It's Come on, me. Jared. Let's it's go, me. Ryan. Wow. Way okay, to root for yourself you. there. Go ahead. I don't care if I'm the king, I'm the commissioner. I actually call the shots. I'm the producer of the show, okay? Thank you. Uh, but people Nexus, love me, Dave. They don't you like produce... me. There's a shirt about it on ProWrestlingTees.com. You should produce some better notes for us for the show. Listen, pal. Uh, <laughs> next... <laughs> next up. Why am I just it's a Pepsi commercial? That was next Next Hashtag up, King or Tyrant, ah. right, JP? Next up, we had yeah. When I win the crown, when I regain the crown of Mania, I will. We will release a shirt that says King or Tyrant. There you go, and you can wear it with your I Hate Dave shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com. Next up, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship on the line. It is going to be Charlotte Flair, the the uh, defending champion, taking on this year's Royal Rumble spot winner to help to get James Freddie Fletcher a T-shirt uh, by winning. Uh, and it will be for the SmackDown Women's title. Ronda versus Charlotte, SmackDown Women's title. Reveal your answers, gentlemen, on three, two, one. Ronda Rousey across the board because we don't give a damn about our reputation here at the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. It's a complete lie. She's the worst, though, on record. Ronda Rousey is the worst <laughs> pro wrestler ever. <laughs> or oh, just, you know, you've never royalty. seen Dylan. You've never seen Dylan Shivers wrestle. That guy oh, no. could could, could stink up a bakery. Ooh, my goodness. Uh, you know, if so, you ever want to have Dylan Shivers on the show, I know a guy that can make it happen. Yeah, me. I know. I would pay good money to get Dylan Shivers on the show. Like like a, a buff amount of money? Like $300 for unlimited time. Top hats for all. Uh, so last match. Yeah, talk about this yeah. stuff. <laughs> last match of night number one officially. Uh, we have Drew McIntyre taking on Happy Corbin. Gentlemen and puppets, please raise your answers in three, two, one. I will lower my answer. Oh, there you go. Oh, Drew across the board. Drew for you. Is that uh, kind of a sad match? I'm just saying good. where Drew was last year to now. Yep. That's- it's kind of a Nobody is excited for this match. Uh, and then also there will be uh, the the main event of night one will be Stone Cold Steve Austin joining Kevin Owens on the KO show. And this is this might be fantasy booking on my part, but a lot of people have said like there's potential that Stone Cold could have a match. And that's what I think. That's why I think it's in the main event. It is going to, it's going to, I don't think it should, Harold, stop shaking your neck like D'Lo Brown at me. I think it leads to them announcing a match for night two. So this way you have to tune in to night. It gives you something to tune in for night two. It makes even more sense because I thought they were going to go Seth versus Cody on night two. So this way it's like, oh, I didn't see Cody. I got to tune in to night two to see it. But now Austin coming out gives you something to tune in for. So that's just a, th- just a prediction, a little, little, little bonus content for everybody. I hope Stone Cold comes out dressed as Kevin Owens. <laughs> he, it's Kevin James that actually comes out. The so, King of Queens. There you go. The real <laughs> King of Queens, Brian. Uh, so what, next, what if it's El Generico? Just saying, El Generico. That's <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Um, so next up, we go to night two, where we will have for the first time ever a dream match. A match I won't yawn through like I'm yawning right now because it is 11.25 Miami time. Uh. Uh, <laughs> it, is, uh, it is going to be Edge versus AJ Styles, and this one is going to be a banger, and I think potentially the match of the weekend for WWE at least. So, gentlemen, reveal your answers. AJ versus Edge on three, two, and one. Everybody go yeah. with AJ except for yeah, I like Edge. That. 
Okay. That's what you call contrarian. <laughs> okay, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. So then uh, next up we have uh, Pat McAfee stepping away from the uh, announcer's desk. They should have me fill in. I'm just saying I'm much better than Pat anyway. Uh, versus uh. Vince McMahon's new golden child, Austin Theory. So we've got Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. Gentlemen, reveal your answers in three, two, one. Wow, Ryan and Nick going with Patty Mac. Jared, myself, and Harold going with Austin Theory. I think Pat McAfee put on a good performance against Adam Cole at TakeOver a year ago. Um, and I, th- I have no doubt that this can be a good match. Um, but I don't see the point in, like, Logan Paul going over. I can see it in a way because, like, it helps boost his credibility in the WWE universe. Johnny Knoxville, we'll see, you know, we'll see where we go with that in my prediction. But, like, Pat McAfee will always be on the WWE table. You don't need them constantly being like, oh, yeah, remember when this announcer beat Austin Theory and then it just it drowns Austin Theory. So. What if? Now, hear me out here. Hear me out. I have a theory. Oh, an Austin theory? Maybe. I, I did that to you before. Stop it, Dave. My theory is if Pat McAfee wins, it's because Vince McMahon runs to the ring. He does not blow out his quads, but he is ticked <laughs> off with Austin Theory and causes him the match. That's the I only can... way I see Pat McAfee winning. <laughs> Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee. Hang on. So my theory is that Austin Theory is going to win because Pat McAfee was the rookie of the year in what was it 2020? Whenever was he, he really? had yeah the, the, the one match. Was, oh no, he had two matches. He I'm was sorry. voted the PWI rookie of the year. Wow. Like I said, yeah. it was good stuff, but like when I first saw that Adam Cole like Pat McAfee I thought for a guy who was the former world champion was taking way too much offense from Pat McAfee. You know, that was just me. And 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 uh, Sean Ross Sapp roasted me on Twitter. My, I had to close Twitter down for a day because, like, people just kept bashing me. Like, he, he literally said, this is the worst take of all time. Like, not really. Not really. But, okay, yeah, I so think that Austin out. Theory is going to win because that will put him up higher because Pat was rookie of the year. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it will be a good match. But, Nick, what were you going to say? Before we move on. Okay, hear me out. Oh, boy. So, oh, wait. <laughs> Vince comes out, Vince and Austin Theory putting the, put the wood to, to all Pat. Pat's getting beat up, and then cha-ching, here comes the money. Oh, the man for the save, baby. Coming out with those Jerry yeah, Jones bucks coming through. Ooh. I'd like listen, that. Listen, listen. The no, last that could actually happen. Yeah. Out Was of all the- Nick's theories, that one could happen. It wasn't but the Shane last doesn't time work there Dallas. anymore. Wasn't it the last time they were in Dallas? It was Shane versus The Undertaker for some reason at a WrestleMania. I just seen on the dirt sheets, legit. And this is not even me just doing that. <laughs> They're supposedly flying Shane McMahon in for WrestleMania this year. Oh, brother. Oh, brother, 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 brother. <laughs> I'm a little, little fearful then. No, Hulk Hogan's still in Clearwater. Well, oh, he was brother. last night. He was last night because one of my friends was at his, like, Hogan's. He did and karaoke at his bar. I, I should go one day. It's like only like 20 minutes <laughs> from my house. But. Yeah, one of my go, friends go get there last time. night. <laughs> go get us some uh, some uh, free swag and get them on the show. Uh, speaking of people we want on the show, we've got four teams we would love to have on the show sometime. It is a fatal four-way women's tag team championship match. It'll be Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley versus Naomi and Sasha Banks versus Shayna Baszler and Natalia versus the champions Carmella and Zelina. So, gentlemen and Harold, please raise your answers on three, two, one. My oh. card. Oh, come on. Oh, we all got different answers just about. But, yes, yeah, so I've got Maria's my new favorite tag team. I love Link Morgan. Liv Morgan gave me a big old kiss in Grand Rapids. I'm always going to pick her, baby. Yeah. Oh, you can't see it, but I'm blushing under this fur. <laughs> I met her, and, like, you know how, like, wrestlers don't really, like, touch you, like, whenever you meet them? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, <laughs> well, you... I live, like, right outside of Lafayette, Indiana, so it was whenever, like, the riot squad was going on, so we were, like, 
oh, Ruby, the hometown girl. And she's like, what? And we're like, we're from Lafayette. And she's like, Indiana? And like got so excited. And then <laughs> like Liv Morgan was just like, boom, like up on my shoulder. And I like damn near fell down. Oh, <laughs> she's like, I wasn't show. expecting it. <sighs> I sat next to her parents at an NXT house show here in Florida when she was like a nobody. <laughs> Lives from New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. Yeah, we got pizza and bagels. We got pizza and bagels <laughs> here in New York too, pal. In New yeah, York but New time. Jersey's is better. That's we have, debatable. We have, we have Bruce Springsteen. Bagels, we got no one. <laughs> we got bagels. We got locks and bagels. Uh, something else that is debatable on whether uh, <sighs> what's better. Uh, we have. Bobby Lashley taking on Omos. This was announced Ooh. last night on Monday Night Raw. And this is one that I struggle with because I could see you going either way on this. So we have the Almighty versus the Colossus. Gentlemen, your answers in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> Myself, Nick, and Harold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. That is oh my just... God. <laughs> Ryan, that's very... What does the rest of you say? Says, hold on. Why oh, you? you keep... Sorry, learning. Leo. Oh, sorry, Leo. Oh man, oh. that oh my god! I hope I hope Omos is just for that. Like I said, they could go either way on this. Um, they they've had Lashley, you know, the the performance he's had the last year, I think, deserves an, another WrestleMania moment like he had last year. That moment won me the crown. I was the only one to pick Bobby Lashley to beat Drew McIntyre. Solid Nobody person. likes Bobby Lashley. Yeah, I do, uh, but I think I didn't Omos, know who the other guy was. I had to look him up. <laughs> I think there's He's no at point. Least four feet tall. They've yeah. pushed Omos to the moon. Up. They've been pushing Omos to the moon, left, right, and center. He's been taking on one guy, two guys, three guys, fifty guys, five guys, burgers and fries, and there's all that is for not if he just gets crushed by you know Lashley. And I think Lashley knocking Omos on his feet gives Omos the edge going into Mania because they're not going to do Bobby Lashley twice in a row. So. <laughs> to be completely honest, when I read this, I was rushing to write the answers down, and for some reason. I read Bobby Lashley, but my brain thought Apollo Cruz. <laughs> no, <laughs> no Apollo I don't know if, my, if it's right or not. I'm like, oh, Bobby Lashley. Wait Apollo, <laughs> Apollo Cruz will be in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal on I'm Friday still going, night. Man, I, I miss, oh, miss. It's, it's okay. I hate that they're doing the Battle Royal on Friday. Yeah, it's not the WrestleMania Battle Royal anymore. Uh, it's so dumb. It, it is. It is. Agreed. Are they doing Vince a women's one? McMahon sucks. No, they're not. And I would like to pitch this. Uh, I believe Margaret came up with this years ago, but they originally were going to do the Fabulous Moolah Battle Royal at WrestleMania 34. Oh, excuse me. I'm so tired during this broadcast because we're on negative three time right now. Um, but so they were going to do it for the Fabulous Moolah Battle Royal. And then like Snicker, like a bunch of people were like, Moolah's a bad person. And, and oh, argue- Dark Side of the Ring came yeah. out. Yeah. Um, and so they took her name off. Like Snickers is like, yo, you got to take that name off or we're, we're pulling our sponsorship. So he just called it the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal and gave it a, a, a you know, a vagina looking uh, trophy. Yeah, if you know, you know. change the name or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I, was, I heard it was, they should call it the Sensational Invitational and name it after Sensational Ooh. Sherry. Wow. Dave, yes. I was thinking literally the same exact thing. And I'm so mad you said it first. It's what royalty does, baby. It's what royalty does. Uh, you Let's know what else? Off. <laughs> you know what else we do? We're going to predict the next match, and that is going to be an anything goes match. Another celebrity involvement at WrestleMania weekend on Sunday night. It will be Sami Zayn taking on Johnny Knoxville. Uh, anything goes, gentlemen. Let us see your answers in three, two, one. Put down the scissors, Harold. John, <laughs> if Jonathan Mayer wins that match, I would be Ryan. I'll just give you the crown. So I've got Sami Zayn. Harold's got Sami Zayn. Jonathan Mayer, Knoxville. Jonathan Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville. So ooh, it's gonna be interesting. You know, I I gotta say, I am so freaking excited for this match, and I don't know why. It's well, Johnny I do Knoxville. know why. I love Johnny Knoxville. When 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 I was growing up, I used to play Jackass, 
And I used to have my friends hit me in the scrotum all the time and knock me over in the middle of the store. And I would ride my skateboard into the wall for laughs. I love Jackass so much. I love my friend Johnny Knoxville. But boy, oh boy, I love Sam Zane's character right now. He is the best. I, I just hope in the middle of like Johnny Knoxville getting assaulted somehow, like Sammy Zane goes like, you want to quit Knoxville? You want to quit? And he holds up the mic to him. He goes, hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to WrestleMania. That's I'm got hoping that like we have run-ins. We have uh, Wee Man chasing Preston through the ring. It's like, point. you know, There's like Sammy's going to go to like move like the Wild steps boys. and like an airbag is going to just come popping <laughs> out of Sammy balls. It has to I really can't right. wait. It's the only way this match can go. <laughs> yeah, I see like going in, like they go like running into the hallway like in the backstage area and like there's Wee Man with like the big hand that just comes swinging forward with like baby exactly. powder. Exactly I really, that. really, really hope that Wee Man and Swoggle <laughs> just like <laughs> <laughs> come on Matt Cardona, let it happen. I got a theory. Another Austin theory? No, a Knoxville theory. Okay, Knoxville, Tennessee theory. So you know how in Jackass, they all had their falling out with Bam Margera. Oh, man. What if this is the reunion and Bam Margera comes out and hits Sami Zayn with a skateboard and brings out a drug test that says negative, unlike Jeff Hardy. And then, and then Phil Margera comes out and just gets revenge on all of them and helps out Sami Zayn. And just Phil Margera and Sami Is he Zayn. Still alive? Pulling, I believe so. I think the Don Vito was the one. That yeah, died. I think Don, Don Vito, Vito passed yes, away. Yes, yes, yes. Know, know, know. He was a creep. He, just a bit. Uh, Something that is not going to be a creep will be the Raw Tag Title Triple Threat Match as Alpha Academy takes on the Street Profits, and the defending champions, RK Bro. Uh, gentlemen, bro. let us know. Bro. Uh, so this, like match, this match is going to be happening at 4.20 uh, Miami time. <laughs> there you go. Uh, 4.20 Amsterdam time. There you go. It's 4.20 uh, somewhere. <laughs> it's 4.20 420 somewhere, right bro. Shirt time. I am wearing my flip-flops, and I can just kick off for, uh, for um, <laughs> that riddle. Um, so yeah, there we go. RVD. It's time to put on your fancy shirt there in the back. We see it, Ryan. So yes, gentlemen, reveal your answers for the Raw Triple ta- Triple Threat Tag Team Title Match on three, two, one. Oh no! Oh, Ryan went with Street Profits too, but it's cool spelled. Yeah. Wait, I'll just go. Nick, you my, you're, you're not on my, my slides and the shorty shorts on. Oh. I was trying to make mine a dollar sign so it looked cool like Who Ryan. Did Nick just, I believe Nick went with RK Bro. Yeah, bro. He went with the bros. I so, went with the Academy. I will, okay. It's going to be – again, that's another one that could go either way. I think the Street Profits just – they're, they're it's, it's their time. They've been so over. I think they deserve a, a WrestleMania moment as well. So we'll see what happens there. I want to see that big frog splash. Boom. Uh, and Whoa. then – in, in the main event of WrestleMania 38, it is the biggest re- match in WrestleMania history. It is title for title, winner take all, the WWE heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar defending his title against the head of the table, the tribal chief, the universal champion, Roman Reigns. This was very tough to decide because they could legitimately go both ways, in my opinion. You could go with Brock, who will then be – Three and O against Roman at Mania. Three and O, two and O. Technically, I'm not forty-seven and O. Close enough, but so not yes, streak. I know. So take that Undertaker, gentlemen. Let's reveal our answers for the winner. Take all the biggest match in WrestleMania history in three, two, one. Oh, lemon! <laughs> it's like lemon. <laughs> yeah. All right, awesome. Nick go with Brock again all by himself. Roman Reigns, my pick. Jared's pick. Here. I only picked Roman because I love Lemonhead. There you go. But uh, so let, let's talk about that because we didn't really talk about many, many matches. Harold, did you only pick Roman Reigns because of Lemonhead? I have absolutely no interest in this match. I think putting the title on Brock could be very cool because people like him because he has a ponytail. And dresses like a cowboy. And he smiles now. And I think it will be good 
to put the title on Roman because everyone hates him except Lemonhead. This could really go anyway. I'll say this. This is one of, like, the longest tenures I feel like we've seen Brock. Like, I feel like he's been on TV just about every week. So he's due for a vacation in a way. And, you know, I feel like everybody's had that iconic moment. Hogan had the leg had the had slammed Andre Mania. Um, John Cena defeated The Rock for the championship in Mania 29. Um, the uh, Brock broke the streak against The Undertaker WrestleMania 30. Roman's biggest WrestleMania moment is just getting booed out of the building constantly. You know, like, like the last time that Hulk Hogan was at WrestleMania. Exactly. <laughs> um, but like. Yeah, I guess, like, yeah, he beat Daniel Bryan and Edge. It was a good match, but I don't think of that as an iconic moment in a way. He beat The Undertaker, but the streak had already been beaten, and it was more about The Undertaker saying goodbye or what we thought was going to be saying goodbye than than, uh, than Roman beating Undertaker. So I, All I think... I'm going to say is typically at WrestleMania, babyface champions go over. Babyfaces go over in the main event. I mean... I mean, I know You're there's probably some watching. exceptions, but if you if you My thing is this, I think Roman events, is just as equally cheered. You know, he gets yeah. beat, but like people love that character. So I don't think it's gonna be me. he will get <laughs> cheered more as a heel on sat on Sunday than he was cheered at WrestleMania 32 as a baby face. I think that uh Roman is gonna win because this will like cement his legacy. Exactly. Even though like he's had the longest reigning championship or whatever yeah. they say and i don't i don't know who takes it off him. like i i Johnny yeah, that's no. that's what i was gonna say there's like <laughs> no one on that rod like i could rod. see it legitimately being cody at SummerSlam if you oh. book it correctly but from what i've heard cody is going to be on the raw brand so let's see no no well, they're unifying happy. the titles dave that yes. title will be everywhere exactly that's true that's also why brock probably won't have it He's too busy kissing his wife, lifting weights, and playing with horses. In that order. Cattle. (laughs) Uh, So, yes, we have to have a tiebreaker, though, because if there is an event of a tie, we go to the tiebreaker. I don't know this time if there's going to be a tie. I have a question. What's that? So, is this including if there is a uh, Stone Cold match? All matches, bell to bell. So whatever Even if there surprise is surprise ma- matches? Yes. Ugh. So it's what we will add up on Wicked or we could so we could decide right now. Do we want to just include the 14 matches that we just did? Or do we include <laughs> Ryan, you want to go all of them? All of them. I say I, all. S- all of them. I, I say support just Ryan. these I matches. Not that I see there being many surprise matches, if any. Like I said, I think the only thing that would make sense would be Stone Cold versus KO. Um, so I think our answers are diverse enough this time that I, I think that this is irrelevant, to be honest. <laughs> so do, are, we, are we all going to hold them up at the same time? Is everybody ready? Yes. All right. Gentlemen, on the count of three, please hold up your total time, bell to bell time for the match. Three, two, one. Seven. <laughs> wow. Okay. So Nick's got 180 minutes. I got to break that down into so three hours. That's what you're going with. Three hours. Right. Okay. Jared, is that 360 oh, I, I minutes? Whole yeah. Oh no. <laughs> 360 minutes. Yep. Okay. So seven Ryan hours. has seven hours, two minutes, and 30 seconds. Harold with three hours and eight minutes. I have three hours, 52 minutes, and 38 seconds. This is the exact time I chose last year, and I walked out with the crown, kids. Uh, I forgot we were doing matches. I thought it was the whole event. No, sir. No, daddy. So, yes, closest to the match. What are you doing here? What? Whoa! What's happening? Yeah, oh, Jesus. It is me, Jerosy Pupe. Congratulations, King Dave. Oh. Your picks are the best. Jerry, so long. Nice knowing you. Ryan, whatever. Go to the early bird special at Perkins. Nick, your baby's crying. 
Go change his diaper. King Dave, go collect your money, your women, your fancy food, your fur coats. I love you, Dave. Oh, I love you too, Gerald. I don't need to collect my fur coat. I just need to collect this super warm nerd zip up hoodie available at pro wrestling tees.com pro wrestling tees.com slash the wrestling nerd broadcast that is nerd spelled nrd facebook.com slash wnrdb twitter at wnrdb instagram the wrestling nerd broadcast patreon patreon.com slash wnrdb and of course right here subscribe to the channel like the video share with your friend let us know your picks in the comment section below it is wrestlemania <gasps> this saturday whoa what the heck's happening what happened I'm not playing games anymore. It's yeah. me, Harold, the puppet. I don't care who wins, as long as it's not Dave and that rascal brother of mine, Gerald. Hashtag hey, anyone but Dave. Com slash the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Instagram, The Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Go buy your shirts. I hate Dave. Wow. Yeah, I'm not playing games anymore, Dave. You and that, that punk Gerald. You got to cut it out. I'm tired of this nonsense. We're coming for that crown. It is three and a half because we got Tom against one and a quarter because you got Gerald. Listen, you little blue fluff daddy, okay? I don't care about your puppet. I don't care about his mullet. I don't care about his baby. I don't care about his bald head. At WrestleMania with Gerald in my corner, the royal family will reign supreme Forever. <laughs> For never. For <laughs> never. I like that, Ryan. Sounds <laughs> like you're just mad that you can't grow a beard. We're I, switching I, to Ryan time. I have a beautiful beard. I have a beautiful life. I have a beautiful castle. And I have a beautiful crown. And I will not lose at WrestleMania. And ladies and gentlemen, I remind you that at WrestleMania, not only, unlike last year, will I exit WrestleMania with the crown, but I will leave WrestleMania and still king of the nerds. Good night, everyone. Good luck, losers, and God bless America. Long live the royal family. No! If he wins, I'm hitting him with a car. Dave wins, we riot. <laughs>